In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite route combinations out of the U-Trips or Y-Off Trips Pats formation to attack both main coverage and zone coverage and actually hit an area of the field that I think is really uh, important for any U-Trips offense to be able to attack. Now, if you guys are watching this video, make sure that you check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Cody Bauer. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below, but that's where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. By becoming a member, you get access to all of them. We have 16 offensive and defensive eBooks available, including the U-Trips formation that we're going to be talking about today. This formation is based out of the New England Patriots playbook, um, but my personal, uh, I think one of the best from a spacing perspective, it's really, really, really powerful. Trips tight end and U trips to me are really, really, really good uh, this year. So if you want to get my full offensive ebook on uh, both of those, you can join the Patreon uh, and you'll get both of them by becoming a member. It's only $10 to sign up, like I said, so I'd encourage you to check it out. So in this video, we're going to be going over the place scat. Now, I will say um, we're definitely in a season right now in Ultimate Team where most people have some variation of either outside apprentice, slot apprentice, tight end apprentice. Um, you can get um, Hot Route Master, where you're getting these extra routes, right? That's the thing. Um, you only need tight end apprentice. And honestly, if you're in U-Trips, I think the Chiefs are probably one of the better teams in regs if you want to use that. Uh, but tight end apprentice will get the job done uh, for this formation. Uh, and we're going to show you why it's so important. So if you take a look here, you're going to see that um, my slot receiver, Smith-Schuster, if I was to run, let's say I run like a cover two, for example, this corner route is not very deep. And so a lot of times, you know, it's not going to get over the top of a, a of a cover two, which is a problem. Um, we want to be able to attack zone. Um, and so this uh, this is going to give us the ability to do just that. OK, so we want to be able to attack zone. We want to be able to get the ball over the top of cloud flats. Uh, and that's what this play is going to allow us to do. So what we're going to do from a setup perspective is we're going to actually go ahead and motion uh, motion Smith Schuster um, <laughs> across the formation. We're going to drag the solo receiver. We're going to fade the uh, outside receiver, and then we're going to put the tight end on a corner route. If it's first and ten or so, uh, smart routing it will get it to go just a little bit deeper, which is very helpful. And what you'll see with this progression here is this corner route because it has more space will get over the top of a cloud flat um, because he's running from more of an inside perspective. Now, the problem is, let's say that you wanted to run this like this with scat and you wanted to motion this guy in and snap the ball right here. You see how, see that little lag and that separation and it's still not even deep enough. Part of the problem with motion corner routes, especially when you're motioning them inside, okay, key distinction, is they just don't, they just don't run very well. Like even if I just snapped him like right about here, you're gonna see it's gonna take him a while to get into the route. And by that time, like even Sim 3 is shedding me. Now, if I was to go to a play like Curl Flight, and we've showed this play here on the channel, where we're motioning this guy into a corner route across, I find that this just gets open faster. You'll see um, it just develops significantly quicker and the Sim 3 is not gonna kill me, okay? So just keep that in mind when we talk about motion snapping. Uh, but anyways, back to this tight end. There's another thing that you can do with this that I actually think is really, really valuable. We're going to put circle on an out route. We're going to put Smith Schuster on the streak now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, this is specifically, I think, fairly valuable for cover two. Um, on the left side of the screen, we're going to just put this guy on a baby in route, five yard in route. We're going to motion this guy across, but we're going to snap the ball like right about here. And what you'll see is against zone, this is actually a really good route combination um, because he's able to, because we're going to suck the zones inside, um, specifically against cover two. This is actually, I think, really valuable. Uh, but we're going to suck the zones inside just like this. Now the cloud flat is out leveraged to the corner. I wish that tight end would get a little bit more vertical than he did right there. Um, but the, the cloud flat is kind of out leveraged, if you will. You can leave, uh, honestly, like you could do this right here and leave that outside guy outside and you'll see a, a pretty nice result here against cover two again you want to smart route that tight end if possible because you see that it's running a little bit too sharp um, on just a basic cover two okay uh, but with that in mind we're going to go over some of some of the other coverages you're going to face cover three uh, is is obviously one that you're going to face what I like about this specific setup is I do think it spaces the field really well is, um, is another reason why I like this. 
But you'll see against cover three, same kind of thing. He's going to get pretty good depth down the field. Again, if you smart route this route, I have noticed, like, even if it's like a second and eight, um, smart routing this route can be very helpful. So just kind of keep that in the back, uh, in, in, the, in your back pocket. Um, let me show you cover four now. Uh, so here's cover four. And it's the same thing. He's going to run over the top of the zone. And he's able to get pretty nice separation. Now, another thing I want to quickly point out is man-to-man. -man. Um, so really the only zone in the game that really has a chance at playing this is either zone drops, which can play it, but there's some specific things they have to do, or cover two. Now, with cover two, there is a window. Once he kind of gets over the top, you can throw that ball right there against cover two. Uh, and, and that's one of the real benefits, I think, of U-trips is it's really hard, really, really hard to play cover two at a high level against U-trips. It just is. Um, so even if you can't smart route it, even if you have to do something like this route combo, this is a great route combo as well. But what you're going to see here is as soon as he gets over that outside shoulder, I can freeform that up and out. And as you can see, um, I'm able to cook cover two over the top. So that takes us to man-to-man. -to -man. So man-to-man -man is actually, I think, growing a lot. Um, I mean, it's been popular all year, but people are starting to figure out that shading their man coverage can actually be very, uh, like shading their man coverage down can actually be very good. This is a great setup for someone that wants to do something like that. Um, you know, because of the fact that this tight end is going to be able to get off the jam relatively easily. He's not going to get pressed. And you have this outside fade. So anyway, what you see here is against man to man, that corner route is going to cook man coverage. And then you also have, you know, everything underneath as well. So if you're, if it's, if it's more likely that it's probably going to be man coverage, um, you know, I would really recommend the drag. Uh, over here on the right side and then maybe a backside if you have outside apprentice a backside post But the streak is so good this year anyway, you know This is just fine and you see how that tight end just has a lot of leverage to be able to get outside It's in U trip specifically. It's one of those formations where like I could go down to um, like three three uh, three three five and you'll see this same basic principle where the tight end is just going to have a pretty good chance of getting outside leverage just because of the way the formation is, is designed. And so you'll see again here, this is why the tight end out route from this formation uh, is so powerful and so good. And if you put the short end elite ability on this tight end, you're going to see a lot more separation. Like right here, wasn't the greatest. Um, but like I said, if you put short out and short in uh, elite on this tight end, this corner route is going to be pretty effective for you you still have everything on the back side too by the way so you still have your uh corner route to or um, your post that is now or your corner route that we motioned over and is now a post which is one of the best man beaters in the game so they're gonna have to defend even if you know and then let's say they use her that real quick uh so we'll just kind of play the what if game so let's say they use her that um you know now you're gonna have they have to have safety help over the top for the streak this year um, that's really a big deal uh, this year. This year's game, just the way the game plays, you really kind of need to have safety help. So if you think about this, you've got your running back quick to the flat here that we could have thrown. The other route that you have is this little drag, and it's a super underrated piece of this play that really makes it difficult to user the whole field. Um, you know, whenever you're putting routes together, you need to have routes that attack the entire, uh, the totality of, uh, of the field in my opinion so something like this is really really effective because now they have to drop eight um, and then at this point it's like okay now here now our corner routes able to cook to the sideline as well and again with short and elite it's going to make that even better so guys u trips to me is one of the best offenses in the game this year because it spaces the field super well and when you have a tight end apprentice you're able to put that tight end corner route out there which i think is one of the most powerful routes for kind of completing this formation because now we're able to attack the sideline significantly better than we were uh, if we didn't have the tight end apprentice. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, 
Make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and I do believe that it's going to help you significantly on both sides of the ball as we have 16 offensive and defensive ebooks that you can digest in there, along with several updates, and we have more ebooks that are coming out uh, in the next couple of days. So make sure you're in the Patreon. Uh, it's only 10 bucks to sign up, and like I said, it gets you which it, literally for just $10, you get access to everything, uh, which I think is a tremendous value for you guys. So if you want to sign up, Head down to the description below and click the link down below.